Hi, Mike Zagelski, Fordham Sales Manager. How do you know if you need to replace your shaft or your sheath? Well, first of all, what will happen is the motor might be running, but your handpiece isn't moving at all. So somewhere in your sheath, there's a break. It could have happened from bending it too tightly, it's just an old shaft, or it got caught in your shirt, the burr got caught in your shirt and it just stopped, or in a piece of wood with a nail, or it just got caught and broke. So what you want to do is take your handpiece off, unplug your motor from the speed control, take your one-inch crescent wrench, and loosen the motor connector. Remember, it's a left-handed thread, not a right-handed thread. So it goes just the opposite way. Once you loosen it, take it off by hand. You do not need to remove the sheath for this if you're not replacing the sheath. Take a small screwdriver, come up, loosen the set screw, remove the shaft coupling from the motor. If you notice, this motor shaft has got a flat area on it. That's where the set screw goes. The shaft I put on was new and already greased. In your case, you're going to need to re-grease the shaft. Take your shaft grease and make a thin bead down. It doesn't have to be continuous. Down your shaft, down to about six to eight inches from the bottom. Once that is done, then you slide your motor connector and sheath onto the shaft. All the way up. If you've had to change out your sheath, slide the motor connector up and then slide the new sheath on. Then what you want to do is thread on the motor connector. Remember, it's got a left-handed thread. Snug it on. You don't need to be too tight. Once that's on, now what you want to do is you want to check to make sure that your shaft is adjusted properly. So down at this end, what we want to do is we want to make sure that only three quarters of an inch of the shaft tip sticks out of the sheath. So I go to the motor end and I slide it out until it comes to about three quarters of an inch, right about there. Then you come back up here and retighten your set screw. And now you're all done.